working on a motherboard, a customer came in and she had some USBs that weren't functioning and some other ports that weren't functioning and she just felt it was best just replace the motherboard. So that's what we're doing. We're replacing the motherboard. I got the old motherboard, took it out, um, re with the processor um, for the new motherboard. And so for, for our clientele, as far as everything goes, why would you recommend replacing it rather than just trying to fix the USBs? Well, it just depends. You know, each, the, each, each board is different. And sometimes the cost benefit is better for the customer if we replace the board versus if we were replacing the USBs. If we're having those types of problems in our motherboard, it's probably best to replace the whole motherboard versus, you know, this USB is fine, but now this USB is broken because there's just too much intermittent power going across everything. So, well, and in some cases, it can be cheaper too because yes, exactly. for soldering and everything else, all that tiny little detail and everything for what you have to do, right? Yes. Correct. So um, we thought it was best um, look at the cost benefit, whether buy a new one, um, do the USB soldering, or replace the board. And it was just a better deal for the customer um, was just to replace the board. Okay. So. Well, that's good. And reality is, is we still can do the diagnostic when three to five business days, unless they need a diagnostic rush. And then waiting on the part takes usually what five to seven days. It can take five to seven days. It can you know it depends on some of some motherboards because some motherboards are so proprietary with their parts and their chips and their screws that it can take longer. Um, but we are always upfront with the customers and let them know, hey, this is this is what we're looking at. This is how long it's going to take. Um, so most of them always. Well, and sometimes we actually have parts in stock too, yeah, right? Yeah, we have LCDs, um, hard drives, um, SATA connectors, um, four-pin fan, Wi-Fi cards, Wi-Fi cards, things, things like that that tip that typically people might need and not think of what they might need. But um, I'm Terrence, and I'm going to get back to this board. Cat, uh, thanks. Bye. Bye.